Hello and welcome to Team Fortress TV. I will be your host, Commander X, for this evening. I'm joined by Twiggy on the mic and John on the camera. We're here to watch uh, ETF 2L League Season game, uh, Osomniacs versus GG Well Played. It is a week six game. We're obviously in a catch up week right now, so this is the last game of both teams' campaigns. I think there's only one other game left in Prem to play. It's going to be casted at Team Fortress TV 2. Uh, with Admirable and Spin, which is Lazy Pandas against Saints, but we're here to, we're here to bring you sort of a top action, or Somniacs versus GG Well Played. Uh, the maps tonight will be Viaduct and Snake Quarter. Uh, the reason this game's interesting, like right now, both these teams are are qualified for playoffs in second, or Somniac in second place, GG Well Played in third place. But obviously, uh, GG Well Played have nothing to play for except for Pride, because they they've got third no matter what. Uh, but if Osomniac take all six points, they will leapfrog Epsilon into the number one spot and only have to play one game, you know, golden tickets of a grand final. So obviously Osomniac want to win every single point right here to find themselves top of the table. Twiggy, hype. welcome. Yeah, Hello. hype. <laughs> uh, what are Hello your initial guys. thoughts going into this game? I'm really excited to see a, um, an eventuality that Epsilon won't finish first, first place for the season. Because I believe this didn't happen for quite a long time in the European scene. And I'm really super hyped to see if yeah, whether or not Osomnia can take the number one the number what's the number one seed for the playoffs. Yeah, obviously uh I think the last time Epsilon entered a season and didn't win it, didn't come first, was season eleven. Yeah, that's came quite second. a long time ago. I don't yeah. even know if I was if I was playing by by, by then. Let me see if I, can, if I can get a random <laughs> for that. Let's and I'm really excited as well because two of my favorite players are playing uh, as well, uh, such as White Glow and GDK. These two have done wonders in the past. Oh, no, no, no. GDK is not playing. GDK is not playing. No. Who's playing uh, demo? Uh, um, his demo, they've had some roster changes have for GG well played team. Uh, GDK and Rico are gone, and his and Yang Pai are in. I should have checked this before for yeah. speaking then. Just just for a Anyway, date, uh, White yeah. Glow man. I know what you mean, White, yeah. He's the best. White Glow is still there. He's, yeah, he's quite, he's quite arguably one of the best medics in Europe, maybe with Merlin and Nox. Well, we're also going to get a chance to see Merlin tonight, so it'll be certainly be interesting. I think especially on Viaduct, you know, where you need your medic, you knows big moves, knows big dodges and surf. Indeed, I think we'll yeah. get a chance for both of them to shine, really. Uh, just to finish my point from earlier, uh, season eleven where Epsilon came second, uh, and that was kind of around for f like it finished in February. Uh, wait, can I find it? It finished in March 2012. So the last time Epsilon finished season or played a season and didn't finish top was in the beginning of 2012. So about two two and a quarter years ago. Yeah, that's so. that's really a long time, a long a long time in uh, in video games to to do, to, uh, to dominate uh, that much um, a regional scene. I don't think any any American team has done this before. Like even even Bunny's team uh, didn't didn't like win the season uh, consistently for two years. Maybe in Australia, Team Immunity uh, is is dominating this um, this subject. Yeah, I mean, is that that any to, you know, that, brings us have a to, that brings us to the I-52. Are you attending to I-52? I am X? indeed. I am attending as a caster. So oh. more of this at I-52. Such hype. Yeah, you have yeah, months yeah. to build the hype around yeah. this. <laughs> I will start shouting now. Let everyone know it's going to happen. So, um, so yeah, the maps tonight are Snakewater and Viaducts. Obviously, I don't know how much GG Well Played have played with this new roster. Sort of a new player. It's only two new players, but you know it's quite quite a few people. I think they played one official with them with this lineup um, against 425, the other Russian team, and they beat them 5-0 on process and 3-2 on Viaduct. Yeah, pretty consistent. Uh, I'm really impressed by the performance of these two Russian teams on uh, this season. I believe it's the first prem real prem season season for 425. And uh, it is as well for GG Well Played, although uh, there are maybe more players that have um, a high level experience, I would say. But so far, really well, really well, uh, well done by the Russians this season. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're really representing here. I don't think there's any other, all the other, any, I think one other national team in Saints. You know, everything else is international. 
like a big mix of nationality which are really representing with their or like single nationality lineups um, so yeah should we talk about the maps for tonight so sure it's gonna be snake water and viaduct i don't know where we're gonna start but obviously viaduct is a bit of a weird map really it's different from a lot of the others so it's a chance for upsets um I think as well, like, uh, I think in the whole of this game, but maybe particularly on Viaduct, it's going to come a lot down to Shadowburn and Forsaken on the GG well played side, because they're, they're two of their best players, and the openness of Viaduct will really allow them to get a lot of bombs going. Yeah. And if their bombs, if their bombs are successful and people can follow up on them, I think they could really turn it, turn it in their favour. Also, I think against 425 and like the close Viaduct game, I think this is right, maybe I'm misquoting this, but I think Atomic finished in points above the Medic. Like, even though it was 3-2 in a really close game. Yeah, the the thing on this map is that uh, every class has uh, a really key job, like the soldiers are making the room for the demo and the scout to kill to kill everyone, because this map is such a, is such a, DM fi um, a deathmatch fight that uh, demos and scouts can reign supreme if they are not contested by the soldiers. But... Uh, I've watched uh, I've watched quite a bit of Viaduct, uh, especially with the ESEA LAN uh, that has been uh, that has been on there last weekend. Soldiers soldiers definitely have uh, what to say about this map. Like they can fly they can fly around the enemy team to like pressure snipers, grab health packs. So yeah, uh, Shadowburn has a lot of fancy jumps uh, prepared for this map as well. So we will he will most likely show us some interesting stuff. Maybe enough to deny K maybe enough to deny Cages and Zebozai. Who knows? Yeah, I mean it's gonna be interesting. I think uh, certainly Hudson's good. He's certainly very much but a little bit more kind of predictable, a bit more textbook, you know. Whereas Shadowburn will try a lot more random plays, a lot more kind of maybe arrogant, going for like tr you know the trick jumps. Jumping past them, jumping behind, forcing one on ones. Yeah, but it, I can think, be, yeah. It, it can be a, a good play in uh, in the long run. Like you force you force people to chase you, so you you build you give more room, more room to your demo and to, to your scouts to move in. But in the end, if the G, if the GG well played scouts and demo can't kill the can't kill the Osumia combo, uh, it won't really matter in the end. Everyone has to step up their games. Yeah, I think uh, the biggest the biggest thing in Viaduct is just you know like we talked I talked a bit about Forsaken and Shadowburn and the initial damage, but it it kind of comes down to a lot of how well your scouts can capitalize off that. Like all through this season, we've seen Stark and Flip very well with Adis and Zebasai following up that damage, Did. cleaning people up. Uh, but also like Yang Pai is is a great player. Like uh, when he joined Lazy Pandas, uh, he made a big difference to their team. They started actually being able to take points in Prem. Uh, now he's paired up with Atomic, who played really well in that last Viaduct game. Uh, so it'll be really interesting to see, because obviously Stark and Flip are the favourites, if Yang Pai and, uh, and Atomic compete with that. Yep, uh, yep, indeed. Uh, I think we have some game infos to, to connect to the, the server. Mm -hmm. I've been given the connect, so I'm loading it up right now. Uh, I don't know what the status is in terms of how many people are on the server. I think there's 11 on. Yeah, 11 people on right now. So just waiting for the last person to join. Uh, it is going to be Viaduct well, first. Yeah. yeah, so I think... Uh, Kedis was telling me before the game, I watched their warm-up. Uh, problems with people timing out and uh, disconnecting. I think Zebasai keeps timing out. Uh, I think Kedis is having a few internet issues as well. So I don't know how that will affect their game, you know, like if... I hope they got all their issue, the issues in the practice uh, in the practice before, so that yeah. we don't see 20 minutes pause again. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not, but and it'll be interesting, because, you know, if, like, if maybe they, like, GG well played, take the first round, and then all of a sudden you start having internet issues on the Osomniac side, and then you can't really get into your game, you just find yourself on the back foot. Yeah. Maybe maybe because they're Russians, the... the, the they loan the botnet for the game. We're gonna see. We're gonna see on the pings. Ding hmm. up the server now. Yeah, I'm on the server. I yeah, think but I, I think I think Viaduct could be really also uh, awesome and entertaining to watch since we have so ma so many aggressive players like as you said the GG well played soldiers, the whole cages Zebozai combo uh, that seems to work really well when they are just plus forwarding stuff. So. I mean, we might even see like actually like Flip and Stark, both known for their sniping. Um, 
I think Forsaken's quite known for his sniping as well. Yeah. Maybe he'll they'll mix it up a lot, put him on a sniper. Atomic like Stevi, they could try a few different things. Uh, it's going to be really interesting because uh, uh, I yeah I watched Osomniac warm up and they played Phoenix. The final score on product, but when I left the game, it was it was two one to Osomniacs, but you know it wasn't clean like a Phoenix. Uh, do you know th- what um, what pipe launcher the KGs used? Because the loose cannon can be actually very very good on this map at mid range. I, I believe he used the stand pipe launcher when okay. I was watching them. Uh, I guess that depends as well. Like if he's having internet issues, then maybe he'll have to swap to you know. A weapon yeah. you can use more spam rather than direct pipes, but he was hitting a lot of pipes in the warm up when they were playing Phoenix. Yeah, of obviously, big that's KG's. We are talking about KG's, so mm-hmm. obviously, he hits pipes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it'll be, it'll be. I can't wait for it to see. Yep. Uh, I've just seen Stark right in chat. Kaders might crash a few times in this match, just giving them the heads up, giving them the warning. White Glow says me too, so hopefully not, but. Stark says expect pauses. Yeah, I think we should, uh, we should begin to write up subjects to talk uh, <laughs> if the pauses are too long. I'll, I'll write you a list of questions now. We should have done this beforehand. Got <laughs> yeah. It's all right. If if we go into long pauses, we can just uh, we can both talk about or we'll both prepare like a biography of ourselves to entertain <laughs> the stream with. We could as well prepare. We could as well for one time prepare the questions we're gonna ask to the players uh, <laughs> on the interview. <laughs> Why not do something with the chat? as well if they have, if they have yeah, we'll some like stuff they want to ask to players maybe we can bring the questions to them to make to keep this entertaining yeah i will preempt I will preemptively open up a notepad folder for any good questions so we You're are so organized uh, uh, so, so <laughs> i know you can't get much more prepared than having a notepad file open um what was i gonna say oh i want to give a shout out quickly because um i don't know if you've seen but the American donation, the i52.tf, has reached its 12 grand goal. It's, it's hit the 12 grand, so we will indeed be seeing two teams from America fly over for i52 in summer. So big props to everyone who donated, everyone who was involved in that, raising can, money. Can we, still, uh, can we still donate to buy plat- platinum face t-shirts? Uh, I presume you can, because okay. obviously I think it's at $12,400 uh, right now. Uh, but I believe they want to. They aim for thirteen, like an extra thousand dollars to so get that Lang Lang, over. Uh, yeah. yeah. So obviously that's. Uh, I think there's five days left and six hundred dollars to go. Uh, but obviously, you know, I'm sure there will be plenty of platinum face T-shirts going around. Oh, yeah. if, I think if you watch some of Shade's videos um, uh, from ESCA at the weekend, I think there were some glimpses of the uh, platinum face T-shirt right there. Oh, yeah, he makes. He's, he instantly makes you. Um... And so, mm-hmm. it worked on your, every your, mix your, of years. Your beard, your beard sprouts out instantly as soon as you put the shirt on. Yeah, it, you <laughs> begin, you begin to fly all over the map and dropping <laughs> medics like seagulls as well. <laughs> guaranteed, yeah, so it, guaranteed, or your money back. It's like a, it's like a RPG item. Like you buy it, you wear it, and you get instant <laughs> bonus to aim. <laughs> you get a little aimbot installed in you. Your whole life goes better. Everything improves. Yes. Uh, uh, I think every player is on the server so far. Yeah, I don't know what we're waiting for specifically, but I imagine we'll be going live pretty soon. So do you want to fr- throw me throw me out a prediction for this first map for Viaduct? No, is it uh, best? Is, it's best of three in Europe. Like first two, first two, three. You said uh, three zero to us on the. Yeah, three nil. Uh, we are going live right now, so I'm going to take you to the action on this first mid. Uh, let me just sort out my set. Are you there, Commander Rex? Yeah, I'm there, I'm the there. I just saw my sense there. Both teams are getting to middle right now. Looks like the Osomnia players and Red want to go aggressive quite away, but they traded aggression and frags gave for both people. <laughs> White Glow goes down, down straight away. Just seemed to run straight into Cadus right there. But down they go. Uh, looks like Osomnia have control of a point, but Shadowburn and Yangpai get a frag back a piece. It's now a 2v2, but there's no health on the Russian players. They're backed off into a corner. Yangpai's got the health back and he wants to come back in. He's going to get on the point, but uh, the Osomnia players are behind him trying to hunt out both soldiers hunting out Shadowburn. But Yangpai is just taking this cap away. Uh, there's a scout coming to challenge him, but he will give a cap before it falls. And now the heals are there because of White Glow's early death. If the heals first, they might be able to challenge this. Soldier wants to jump on the point, going to block back, going to knock Cadus really far back. Uh, Zebesai is going to go down as well. Soldier comes behind. Nutson uh, takes down White Glow before nice. he gets air shot. Uh, now the heals are in favour of uh, Osomniacs. They have less players, but they want to bully VOA in. But right now, Cadus is. Sh- Shoot a different player and flip, and they're both going to go down. You get absolutely totaled. Saken comes in and gets the the regular powered stick kill on him, and 
this is kind of still the, the first fight for Dust kind of finally settles. And... Oh yeah, that's Viaduct, man. The fight never <laughs> stops on the, this map. Provided yeah. the team plays forward hard enough. And so far, still, uh, play, we played this for like one minute and a half, and still, no, no Magic has reached 100% to the charge. <laughs> I believe this game is gonna be tough for them. Yeah, we talked how they were so uh, uh, just before we started, but <laughs> they're gonna have to really pull out all the stops if the game actually gonna continue like this. Now we see Nutsin trying to initiate on one side as K just gets the time of a point. Point. Neither medics near Uber right now. Shadowburn's gonna jump in, get some spam on them from that high ground. Uh, quite a lot of damage going on. No one's gonna die for seconds. Gonna be domed by Starkey. Starkey's gonna white, dome White Glow as well. And those two sniper frags should swing this. Scout's gonna try and go in, but his gang point's gonna be cleaned up by Tebasai. And Stark coming out with the early game sniper, just clinching that fight. We have a counter sniper instantly from Forsaken. They will most likely uh, build inside the spawn. Um, oh no, they seem to wanna. At least uh, commit a little bit their, their yeah. magic uh, on the cliffside, maybe to get the sniper above. Not yeah. pushing too fast, they should know that Merlin, uh, that Merlin has this charge now. Yeah, got Merlin position. Oh, soldier comes in. Nutson's gonna go down. I imagine White Glow just wants to kind of go half halfway to help team get out with full buffs. Yeah. Uh, they're now gonna have a peek right now. It might come down to who wins this sniper duel earlier on. Merlin sitting safe on top of that cliff. Debasai, while the rest of the players try and edge their way in. No sniper frags as of yet. Shots are exchanged, but no one's hitting them yet. Time is gonna be is gonna be even in eight seconds now. We, well played by Ausomniak, like to delay to delay the GG well played push with a sniper, and they are caught without their charge now. Uh, the Uber is gonna be forced, but it doesn't matter as the as the sweet soldiers get shot on the sniper and shadow burn. Uh, they will. Most likely just reset with the sniper on a, on a passive all dev tech. I, I don't think you can commit to a forward all when you have a sniper. Yeah, not really. Uh, we saw a big denial air shot from Shadowburn stopping Zebesai getting aggressive, but then Merlin saved him straight away. Now we're going to see the early Uber out. White Glow's going to flash Forsaken through. They're going to get one frag on Nutson, but Osomniac on nowhere to be found. The Cypher's just backing off in that corner, and they can't really get any more frags, but they do claim the point back. And they're gonna eat into a way now at 30 second advantage. And uh, now Soldier's going aggressive on Merlin, getting all over Merlin. Merlin's gonna surf it away on half health. So going going down. Down. Forsaken's coming in, he's gonna go down as well. Merlin's still on half health, gonna get the health pack back up to full. Stark's gonna kill White Glow now, and Hiss. Uh, Stark really difference right now, the fight's really even, but. Start hitting these headshots just to swing in the fights in Osomniac's favor. Yeah, they should have, they couldn't decide who to focus be, be, between like Stark and uh, Merlin. They got they they got they, they came from Merlin. That was the wise choice, obviously, because he has his Uber, but he's so slippery that he survived two soldiers bomb, plus the follow-up damage from his from Heist. And we have do we have the first pause? Maybe we won't be in the first pause. They did. They did warn us. They warned us in chat beforehand. Uh, I have uh, a question though, because like uh, on the source TV. Oh, oh we we going live again. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not very long pause. So uh, looks like uh, everyone's gonna be sliding around for a bit. Apologies for the broken HUD. It should fix itself pretty shortly. Uh, but Merlin has full charge. So Somnek are trying to get in here, trying to get a pop out of Merlin. Uh, Forsaken's really far forward on this point, trying to find the shot. Nuts is going to get all over him though, should be able to take him down. Down goes Forsaken. Now a soldier's gone aggressive. Yeah, uh, aggressive onto Merlin right now. Merlin's still trying not to pop the sticks out. <laughs> Merlin on 27 HP, Shadowbirds are running towards him with the escape plan. And can't get him though. Cadis is still trying to fight for point by himself, but he will go down because of how far back his team got. Now Zebosai and Merlin have popped on point, but Zebosai spent all his ammo and he can't get anything out of this. And or Somniax. Uh, but not some Yaks are played of working exactly how they want to, and now Zebesai is still trying to jump around to get damaged. Uh, Ark's gonna get another headshot. The soldier is still behind. Forsaken's gonna take him out. Now they're gonna Uber forward. They uh, will try and take out that sniper threat, I imagine. Uh, they can't finish him off though. Stark's still near on 45 health as a Somniac. Uh, what is chasing? Like, no scouts is chasing, be, uh, even though they have the points. He's still exactly on the same spot that where he was before. <laughs> Yeah, okay. they've still not taken Stark down. He's on a five kill streak right now. Uh, he's gonna body shot Forsaken, and it looks like uh, here comes yeah. Forza. I'm not sure who timed out. It might, I imagine it was Cadus. Uh, but they're gonna, just gonna count. We're gonna have all six players, and Osomniak wants to like. Looks like they want to take it really slow out of his left hand side, but they only have 30 seconds. Neither to have Uber for this uh, pretty much final engagement. So I'm just gonna go aggressive first. Gonna put a lot of damage onto Zebesai. Zebesai's really high in the air. He will go down. Nuts and down as well. 
Uh, three of the soldiers on the field, all the soldiers in fact down right now because of the second sniper. Yeah, they can't go. They have to fall yeah. back. Uh, yeah, Hayden still wants to fight it though. We know time is running out, but uh, Yang Pai, Atomic just absolutely combining together. Now, sick focus fire from the scouts, gonna take him out. Uh, time's gonna tick down. I don't think Zeppa's nuts enough for responding time for this. Uh, they're gonna try, but it's gonna be too little, too late. And they're gonna both go down in the afterground. And there we go. First round to GG, well played. Uh, I'm already wrong on this map. Uh, uh, beside, uh, we played for like five minutes, and uh, my prediction is already gone. I yeah. shouldn't try. I shouldn't have, have done this. Like, <laughs> it forced me to predict the result. Number uh, one rule: never predict. <laughs> Here we go again. Uh, Soldier straight onto Merlin. Merlin's gonna surf away on 11 HP, down to four, down to seven. Uh, he's gonna get away with it, and frags are gonna be traded. And Osomniacs actually clean up all the frags from that. Just shadow burn left. Oh, Merlin he... goes down to HP again. Shadowburn still jumping, trying to find Merlin. Merlin's so low, if he can land one rocket, will miss. Merlin will escape once again. I think Merlin went down to what? Uh, yeah, 3 exactly HP like, then 5 HP? Yeah, exactly la, uh, as, the la, as the last mid fight on the first round where he drew the attention of, uh, of the two soldiers alone. And he, he, went, he, went, to, he went to to 10 health as well. And uh, it, it looks like this time Osomiak are gonna forward a very wise decision, especially considering that Forsaken is sniper because the sniper angles are really bad uh, when you can't get out of your spawn. And see, Ice is already done, uh, well done by Cadis. So we have like the demo man on the scout watching the cliff side. The hills, the hills are on the right side with the two soldiers denying both the wooden house and entrance. Yeah, very similar to the Freya Tech kind of forward hold we saw at yep. ESCA LAN. Uh, the soldiers are roaming, like, I think Zebersize is focusing a bit more on middle and normally Freya Tech did, but here they come, they're trying to power out. Nutson takes down Shadow, but uh, Nutson hitting all these rockets there. It's so difficult for soldiers to come out of that door. Both teams have Uber now. Forsaken's going to try and take it in, they're just going to pop Ubers on this right hand side. Uh, but a soldier is going behind. I don't know if Forsaken's going to have enough time to do anything with it. Forsaken's going to try and go behind, but gets juggled up, and the scouts are going to pounce on that one. Forsaken goes down, but Nutson was behind as well when he goes down. But no ground really gained for GG Well Play, just Uber's exchange. And now Zeppa is going to trade with Hiss. Uh, looks like GG Well Play might be able to get out, and Merlin yeah. actually gets caught out as well. Uh, now Scout is going to go down as well, and all of a sudden the forward hold absolutely crumbles. Uh, yeah, I was Cadis about to is still ask, behind. I was about to ask if, if, the, if that's a good idea to keep forward holding when you lose one heavy player, and it seems that it's not a good idea. <laughs> you got your answer the... straight. Away, yeah. yeah, as the, all, all the GG well played members did the uh, did the um, did what what's what's needed to do in these kind of scenarios like uh, put the six man uh, where the demo isn't uh, and just plus forward. It wasn't enough to hold them, even though he's really strong. Yeah, he just and doesn't have enough ammo, and now we're all going to jump in for this force. Case is going to go down. Soldiers getting pretty. Deep. Uh, not sure where White Glow is. He's just kind of disappeared. He's hiding in the he's house. He's in the house. Yeah, he, he, he's predicting the the move from Osomniak, like the foreman suicide is becoming so standard that he's actually hiding in the house. He can't be jumped. He can't be backstabbed as well. Um, yeah, but where is he? Where like, he is? The problem Osomniak have is not just you know jumping all the way across the map to reach him without any heals or Uber, but then you have to like if he's hiding in a different place, you have to find out where he is before yeah. you can even shoot at him. And now we're just going to see a normal uber exchange. Flip is taking see... the rifle this time. Yeah, flip on the sniper, so both for Somniac scouts feeling comfortable with the rifle. Headshots as of yet, it looked like uh, Somniac have been allowed to get pretty far forward pretty easily. But I imagine they're going to not let the cap go. Here come the uber exchange right now. Zebasai's going to try and keep it single. Zebasai's going to try his best to find a frag or find some damage. He gets one on Yang Park. The combo's pretty deep. White Glow's in trouble right now, but White Glow's going to surf it out. A great surf from White Glow, but it doesn't mean there's no heals for the remaining GG well played player. Scout's trying to get in, or something have capped it for all of this. Dutton's going to get one, but Atomic gets Zebasai. There's now a soldier behind. Shadowburn takes one. Shadowburn's going to try and jump away again, but they have to deal with Shadowburn behind. Uh, meanwhile, Yangpai's going to get on the point, but Stark is behind him one on one on the point right now. Uh, wow, Nuts has actually got White Glow. There's action going off all across the match right now. Yeah. Uh, White Glow goes down, Merlin went down in the course of that as well. Merlin spawned just now, so they have a, a small uber advantage, but the time is neck and neck right now. Uh, 30 second advantage for Osomniac, but it's really not a lot. For second, he's, he's uh, hidden on the on the truck, but uh, Nutson wisely checks the, the spot. Uh, but still, for second, he's still alive with a decent amount of health behind, but yeah, he's oh. just destroyed him. 
Well, the future jump, aggression there, Shadowburn and Forsaken uh, coming in at the same time, absolutely crush for your Somniac players. And there's one soldier left, uh, he might be able to pick Hiss now, Hiss is in a bit of an actuation, but Nuts is going <laughs> to try and, and jump away him crazy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tries to escape, it's no, uh, it's no good, uh, and now White Glow has a big uh, uber percent lead, thanks to, I'm not sure who got the kill out of Forsaken and Shadowburn, but they both just landed straight on top of Merlin. The whole yeah, one guy was behind. Forsaken was behind while the rest of the of the dual plate team was in front of him, so he got absolutely sandwiched. Uh, yeah, they're going to try and cap. Hiss actually goes further forward than his team right now. The rest of his team were just waiting for Uber. Uh, White Glow does have Uber in that corner. He's going to Uber out, but they've already lost two people now. That's aggression from the soldiers come out once again. Uh, they take down Flip. Merlin's in the air. Uh, Shadowbone can't find the rocket. He's got the stick out. Forsaken's there. But uh, White Glow's going for swords in the air, Cadus will go down as well, and the aggression from the soldiers, White Glow's going to try and get out, but he's got to deal with Stark, Stark's above him right now, Stark's going to drop on White Glow, White Glow's trying to get the swords, Hiss can't get any damage on him, Stark's going to pick White Glow, and now the soldier comes to follow up, blowing in, but he gets taken straight down, now a scout fight once again, Stark on 35, have Yangpai's on 52, Yangpai will get him, but runs into the rest of the team, tries to piss down Merlin, Merlin goes down to 50, Atomic's going to pick up a frag as well, uh, concentrating of bodies right now, but it will favour Osomniac since they don't have a point. Cadus and Merlin are going to finally uh, cause a little bit of stability to happen as they get on the point. But uh, GG well played. Looks like they want to come right back out from this once they get the spawns yeah. in from Cliff. Basically they can't afford to lose the point again uh, where they are. But fortunately for Merlin he knows he knows has a 30% uh, uber advantage. Uh, which, means, uh, which means that we most likely... Uh, that the blue guys will most likely need to kill him. First. They come in, Murray getting pretty close to Uber and White Glow has gone down, or Somniac just needs to go all out for this. Uh, no, uh, GG well played even, but Stark and Flip uh, just doing such a good job protecting the combo and keeping them clear. Murray's got a Uber on point now, surely that's it. Yeah. And Somniac take it back, but again, really close, like it all came down to that final push if maybe White Glow didn't go down and they were able to get more aggressive onto Merlin before he had the charge. Would have been a different story now, but 1-1 uh, yeah, one, one right now. The match is really, really close, and we have a sniper to to mid, so no pocket, but a sniper this time for Forsaken. He's hoping, the, he's hoping that the surprise effect will uh, connect with Mirian's head. Oh wow, uh, both scouts go down early, and both soldiers are getting super aggressive now onto White Glow in the corner. Uh, they're not gonna get. No, they do get White Glow. Cadus arrives as well, they're gonna get White Glow. Uh, just Shadowburn left on 20 HP. His still has a buff in the corner. Uh, Hiss is going to jump in by himself, going to go for Merlin, launches Merlin away, but Merlin's going <laughs> to uh, land that stuff perfectly onto the sort of mini balcony there on 30 health. Uh, good try from Hiss, but you're going to have to do better to get Merlin. And uh, now we're going to see Merlin build his charge all the way up to full. But Forsaken's <laughs> going to get a kill. Uh, fully charged body shot? Uh, on Gaidus, yeah. Gaidus. Uh, going to make it a lot easier for their players to get in. Shadowburn's causing a distraction. Uh, Demoman's trying to jump in as well, but he's just trying to jump into the other side to get the scouts. He gets one scout out. The other scout's pretty weak. The scouts might go down here for AWS. Uh, down they go. It's just Zebesai and Merlin. Uh, looks like Zebesai wants to fight it by himself. He's going to try and get on White Glow. White Glow will go down before the Uber. Uh, Zebesai trapping him. Zebesai still has a lot to do. He's going to get Forsaken. He wants to get another player as well, but he's completely surrounded now. Zebesai. Cadus has arrived. Merlin still alive. Just in time. Soldier going on to uh, Merlin. Oh. He will get him. Shut up. Burn just about salvages. He's got the sticker trying to kill Flip after he lands a rocket. It yeah, won't I think work. He bought, a, he bought a strange part for his stick. Uh, there is no reason to use this that much. <laughs> uh, now, as you can see, Zebesai has a little little look at the spawn. Just goes to check out what's happening at the GG well played spawn before backing up. Uh, and even though there's been a lot of chaotic fighting, uh, all the time has gone in favour of AWS. Uh, but now, GG well played have an uber advantage. And looks like they want to just. Life. Look at Go the life on the Osomniac awesome guys as well. Nobody's yeah. buffed at the moment, so this is the chance for for Forsaken to lead his team through the, through the stairs. But no, they, it seems that they want to retreat since they lost Atomic. Yeah, a really good uh, good pressure from Cloud. A lot of damage, but they're nearly at the Uber right now. Uh, Osomniac uh, being brave, they're only standing quite far forward. Uh, not worried about getting caught. Actually, a soldier goes in. Zepsar's going to get white. And that uber advantage is taken away straight away, and look how much health is on the uh, players from GG World Played as well. We're going to have to try and do this fight without a lot of help. Uh, I don't think anyone can even get close to Merlin behind that cliff. And all of a sudden, Osomniac looking really dominant. Yeah, it seems that uh, GG World Played has the, the correct ideas, like uh, push uh, with, the, with your med, but not commit the med too far. But they are like too focused. 
it's too, too much focused on uh, keeping keeping white glow inside the bubble so that they, they can't they can't focus fire uh, hard enough the house that guys on Indian by spam. Yeah, uh, now we see a big bomb going in now. now. Uh, Maroon's in a lot of trouble. Uh, he does eventually pop down to 30 health, try to milk it for as long as he can. Uh, but all the Osomniac players are going to flood forward now. I imagine trying to pick up these two scouts. These scouts are isolated. Uh, it's a one for one trade so far. Uh, but there we go, Atomic and Yang Pai down in trade for nuts and, and just going to make this uh, final push really hard. 15 seconds left, 75% on White Glow. Uh, they don't just have to win it, they have to win this point and hold it for three minutes straight. This is taking so much damage, this is going to go down, still doesn't quite have it yet. White Glow and Forsaken both down to 50 health. They're still trying to fight this, Viewer's going to come out, they should be able to secure this. Uh, Forsaken lands a body shot, Soldier's going really deep for Merlin right now, he's straight on top of Whoa, Merlin, great job from Shadow Burn. Uh, he sets up Atomic <laughs> for the frag as well, but Flipper's got in and killed White Glow. Uh, every time GG World played, make a good effort to go all in and take Merlin out. Uh, they leave White Glow uh, without protection and White Glow goes down, and now we're going to see the Reaper straight away from yeah. Osomnia. They just need a cap, they already have two frags from start. Stark's I believe giving that's them a the great downside, opening. Uh, I believe that's the, the downside of running a sniper. Like, obviously you can kill Cages or, or Merlin, but uh, since it's the pocket, be the protection white, uh, white Glow lacks. And, and good air shot by, I think, Zebozai onto Shadowburn as the, as the lead has swing back to awesome Night Boys. Yeah, I really think the sniper's a mistake. Like, Forsaken's not been hitting as many shots as Stark. He's not been having an hitting enough shots to even have an impact, really, in these fights. I think he just needs to stay on Soldier. Yeah, at least, will have a better time. at least he's Soldier for this middle. Yeah, here we go. Uh, here comes the double Soldier bomb as well, going all out for Merlin. White Glow's stuck in a corner as well, but his combines. Oh, Rocket from Zebasai comes in. All the frags are tried. We know how Merlin has survived. I didn't see how Merlin survived, but he gave both Soldiers uh, the kind of loop to loop Made him miss everything. <laughs> Merlin writes a kiss in chat. <laughs> uh, and now Osomniak are setting up for another dominant round. Osomniak needed one more and they claim the first three points in this match. Yeah, interesting bombs, bombs choice by the Swedish soldiers. Uh, they didn't try to go first to the to the demo on the mat, but rather they pushed on the flank, they got a kill on the scout, and from there they, they leapfrog behind the behind the blues to just pencil them with a on the front, even though Cage just died. Yeah, we just saw another four-man suicide right there, but Merlin completely safe, completely yeah. tucked away in that lift, didn't go down below 100 health, I even think. But now GG will play, do have Uben, there's no forward hold from Osomniak, so they're going to be able to get quite far forward here without a lot. Here come the soldier bombs, straight onto Merlin, Merlin's going to surf away again, Merlin's <laughs> hopping all the way around, Merlin is making the soldiers look like absolute fools right now. <laughs> it's like... He, he had like 90 health after the double bomb, you know, yeah. he did only 60 damage to him. And he surfed it to the other side of, like, the map. Like, he just surfed it all the way from one health back to the other, basically. Yeah. Uh, if he's overdose halfway through, no fear, and completely wasting time, basically. And Viaduct's all about time, and Merlin's making GG World Played waste a lot of it right now. Uh, here comes the Uber exchange. White Glow looks a lot more committed in this one, so we'll see more of a standard push. Uh, Forsaken's actually going to get isolated on the point, bit of a misstep there. Uh, now it looks like Zebasai wants to come forward, White Glow's going to have to pop, Merlin's going to save his pocket as well, Nutsen goes down behind, uh, now a soldier's going to try and isolate the scout right there. Uh, yeah, they can't stay in, the, the Blues needs to get out. Yeah, White Glow's yeah, going to go down. Uh, here comes his fist can land a pipe, Merlin will go down, he can't land the pipe. <laughs> he still can't land the pipe, Merlin's dancing around everywhere, here comes another soldier and a scout. Uh, Merlin's still tucked away though, scout's going to be on his face, but Zebasai takes the meat shot for him and Merlin will survive once again. Uh, Cadis is asking for a pause, uh, maybe, uh, yep. but obviously it's 90 seconds of a pass, so I don't think we really saw that. Yeah, we got a never mind in chat, so that didn't happen. We should have has... uh, crash, yeah, something like yeah. that. And right now, Osomniak uh, haven't let GG World Play take, take a second off their clock, and they've only got 45 seconds to go before they and Here come the soldiers again. Uh, they're both going to just trade a frag right now, not a whole lot being done. Cadis starting. Alert! 
Point. The scout will go down, but he does force White Glow before he goes down. Cadis is going to try and jump out and get one frag, but Hiss might be able to cut him off right now. Hiss not really landing damage. There we go. Shadow Burn arrives, and down goes Cadis. Uh, five seconds left on the clock for Osomniacs. Two minutes forty left for GG Well Played, and GG Well Played yeah. can't afford any more mistakes. Any more mistakes, and they've lost in this map. Yeah, they basically have uh, Osomniac have a lot of time, has a lot of time to set up a proper push. And look at what they're doing. They they don't have charge. They know White Blow doesn't as well, so they commit their med instantly on the cliff, and they're just gonna play another mid fight. Uh, yeah, just a spam trade so far. Shadowburn's pretty weak. Doesn't fancy uh, the fight right now. Uh, Murren's down to half health. Just a spam exchange so far. Both medics inching closer to Uber. No one wants to be first to commit. Nuts is going to be the first to commit. Uh, it's followed up straight away by Zebeside to take down White Glow. Now they're going to try and commit back, but there's so much damage done. None of them really in a position. Forsaken's going to come forward. Gets a lot of damage onto Cadus. Cadus will go down. And suddenly, Osomniac uh, are losing everyone. Murren's in the corner. He will Uber. Uh, but now Zebesai's got a whole lot of work to do, uh, just by himself, he gets one, he could do with about three more. Uh, all the players are weak, uh, they just the need to get on the, the cap. Yeah, those spawns are really yeah. firing the, the red in this yeah. fight. Uh, GG played are going to try and do it, though, here they come. Uh, White goes committing, Forsaken gets one, but it's not enough. Hiss is about to arrive with the soldier, here they come for the damage, but they just get absolutely wiped up, and that's a GG, 3-1 to Osomniac. Uh, really even start, but then as soon as Osomniac got a foothold, in those last two rounds and one the mids, it never looked like they were going to lose it. Yeah, their scouts are really carrying them in the engagements. Like, uh, it seems that GG Well Played knows that they have to take down Merlin on uh, when they don't have uh, Uber advantage and stuff. But they are so focused on the on the awesome combo that they completely neglect to kill scouts first. The scouts can just wreak havoc behind all the time that Shadowburn uh, that Shadowburn gets a good play. Really unfortunate by them. Yeah, I that's think, why this map is really hard to play. Yeah, I think the mistake, like you saw, like in that last round, there they had a much better exchange once they, you know, got out. Like once they got that first pop out of Merlin, they stopped playing to try and hit Merlin. Like they just played to fight the other team. Yeah, uh, they did a lot better, I think. Like everyone committing to fight Merlin, like yeah. Merlin showed off what he's what he's capable of, uh, and just made that everyone look like fools trying to chase him down, and it just every. Every time they went for Merlin on that suicide and didn't get it, about another 20-30 seconds wasted off the clock in favour of Osniax. So you I can't really, you can really rely as well on Cadis and Zebose whiffing their shots. Yeah, like uh, we saw uh, both of them, Cadis and Zebose, top of the damage. I think top of the frags as well, or Stark was top of the frags, but yeah, Stark and Flip just put up such like a... Uh, such a good barrier, you know, just uh, taking down anything that comes aggressive. They were always around Merlin, helping him, helping, you know, Merlin would land the dodge, but then the person trying to shoot him would go down pretty quickly. Uh, whereas yeah. with White Glow, you, I don't know, White Glow didn't land as many dodges, and he didn't have as many people protecting him. Yeah, that's that's the, that's an interesting feature of the map architecture. Like uh, the viaduct above the above the midpoint forces the the soldiers to do skip jumps uh, that are really uh, low, you know, they are going really fast and really low off the ground so that scouts can really just make sure them really easily, that's not like they are flying really high and synchronizing rockets, so scouts mm. are even more powerful uh, to, deny the, to deny the soldier's bomb. But as soon as, as soon as you begin to lose one soldier or one scout and you, you find yourself in 4v6, it doesn't matter on this map if you have uber advantage because you won't, you won't be able to catch all the players scattering around collecting health packs or that's maybe the that's maybe the mistake uh, the mistake um, GG well played uh, have realized, but no, it's another story. We are back to uh, we are back to our loved f five CP mod on CP Snake Water. Uh, yeah, we'll see a much more I guess patient, uh, a little bit more thought out uh, TF2. Maybe what's that's right, but you know more more patient, a little bit more around Ubers. I don't know how many Ubers for meds got in that, but it didn't feel like too many. I think uh, yeah, Whitecloud got eight, Merlin ten. Uh, in a 20 minute game, I guess that's not awful, but you know, we saw White Glow down, White Glow go down quite a lot. Uh, so we'll be hoping to see more of a standard play. I don't know if Forsaker try the Sniper again, obviously Snakewater has some pretty good sight lines for Sniper. But you know, I don't know if, it's, I just think it's the wrong class to sacrifice for a Sniper really, for Pocket. What would you sacrifice, uh, the yeah, Roma? The Roma or a Scout, I just think, especially with the way Shadowburn likes to play Roma, you know, he likes to play... Uh, quite really far away from the combo. Um, I think it just leaves White Glow too exposed unless yeah. Hiss hits all of his. And Hiss isn't the sort of demo man like 
maybe like 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 a Nutter or War or even Cadus, you know, who can do quite a lot of work defensively. He's more of just he's more about timing, coming in at the right, the right time with his spam and catching people off guard. You know, like oh, he always adds the damage at the right point in a fight. But I don't think he has the DM capabilities, you know, to protect um, White Glow against yeah. you know, players of this caliber. Again, that's why the disrupt is really interesting because you can't afford to lose the pocket, uh, as you stated. But losing scouts is even more is even more dam um, damaging for your team as they are so fast to collect health pack and to just to just uh, kill stuff that is weak due to demo spam. You know, so that's really that's really a tough a tough decision to make when you want to run a sniper. And Stark did it on the only time that is right to do a sniper. Uh, in my opinion, like when you already have the point and you can afford to hold behind and just use the sniper as a wasting time as a wasting time tool for for your opponent. Yeah, I mean, like those those uh, mids where Forsaken ran the sniper, like every mid we saw. I know we only saw four, but every mid was just like both soldiers just went straight away. Like Nuts and his other side would just both jump behind. Shadowburn would jump behind on the other side. Like Forsaken barely even really has time to scope in and get a proper shot off before. The action's kicking off. Like, Kay just goes straight across point to help his soldiers. Hiss tries to do the same thing. And there's just no opportunity, really, to take some shots. I think having another soldier bombing in would have given him a much better chance on those middles. Mm -hmm. Indeed, yeah. And also, the most important part on, on, on this map is uh, after the mid fight, uh, when, when one team uh, has the advantage and the other has, have not, has not uh, we saw both, both teams. Um, Playing really well when they already have the points. Uh, really good positions for for both of their teams, like uh, Merlin on the cliff, White Glow on the house. But uh, it, it seems that uh, these teams are really predictable on the viaduct when they don't have the points. Like all the time when they don't have Uber advantage, they do a four mine suicide. Have Uber, they, they mm. push cliff. Comes down to um, the general lack of prex on um, on this map. Uh, yeah, I mean, I always think like on Viaduct, like even if you're going for a suicide, you can you can always medic a certain way. Like, yeah, unless it's a forward hold, obviously, then you just have that's to. Really, that, that's really hard to that's that's harder to pull off, but that's much more uh, rewarding, I would say, because yeah, as you said, like you you keep the medic inside the spawn, uh, the for, the the suicide wave uh, comes out. That by the time they reach a position when they can actually jump the med that is holding on his cliff or on his house. The buff is gone, and they are basically they are basically naked. Hmm. It's um. Yeah, I and I agree. I just can't find what, anything to add really. Um. <laughs> it's going to be interesting.